So bear in mind that your wonderful world is not bounded by your senses. You perceive far, far more than your sense, no matter how acute it is, could discover. Your senses can't discover what now you're capable of assuming that you are. Your senses dictate what reason will allow. And your reason and your senses are bound together. Go beyond it for what you now know from experience. What you know from the past will not be what you will know when you know more than you now know. But having done it and proven it, I know more than I did when I was bounded by my senses. When I couldn't get out of a certain island on time to meet a commitment in Milwaukee, I knew what I did in the army. I simply applied the identical thing, and I got out. When there was a long, long waiting list, thousands waiting for all the islands, and only two little ships, not big ships, two small little ships, one carrying up more than 60-odd passengers, and one carrying in 120 and thousands waiting, and they only came once a month into the island. One every 32 days, and one every uh, three and a half weeks. How long would it take to get them all out? I didn't ask anyone a favor. Didn't ask my brother, who was a powerful businessman in the island. He criticized me for not arranging passage back to America when I left America. That that's the place where you should have done it. That's the powerhouse of the world, New York City. That's where all these things are done. And you dare to leave New York City when you could have arranged a round trip. And you come here on a one-way ticket. Well, I didn't ask any favors of him or any favors of any, any member of the family. I simply did exactly what I did in the army. And in 24 hours, I was called by the Alcoa Company and given my passage. Over thousands who were waiting. This is my concern why she did it or why someone else didn't get it in preference to mine. My, my name is down at the very bottom. I wasn't at the top. I'm at the bottom of the list. It isn't my concern. I look into the perfect law, the law of liberty. And I persevered. I sat in a chair in my hotel room. And there I sat in the chair and assumed I am next to the boat and um, climbing up the gangplank. That's before we had a deep water harbor. So you had to go off to sea about maybe a half mile or a mile to sea on a little tender and then take the gangplank and, and go up to the ship. So I felt myself bobbing as you would on the ocean and then moving up the gangplank. I could smell the rawness of the sea. Got up to the top. My mind wandered. I brought it back down again and did it all over again. It wanted, brought it back down again, kept on doing it over and over until finally I did it. I fell sound to sleep sitting in the chair in the act of doing. Next day, Alcor calls me and gives me my passage for my wife and my little girl. So I'm telling you from experience, it doesn't fail, but we must not simply be hearers of the word. We must be doers of the word. For if you are a hearer and not a doer, you deceive yourself, he tells you. For we are the operant power. This law doesn't operate itself. 